YouTube. We know why we're all here. They're, they're just, there's no point to waste your time, waste my time. I know what you came for. You know why I'm here and why I brought you here. It's about that time, man. This is probably the most anticipated for myself review for y'all and shoe that I will eventually can, you know, start to wear and hopefully make a whole generation of people be inspired by this one shoe. Just this one shoe. No, listen, listen, listen. I don't need all the accolades. I don't need all the, the shining bright lights and, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the accoutrement accompanied with being a, a trendsetter, a jet setter, you know what I'm saying? I don't need all that. I just need you to subscribe. Nah, not like that. I'm not gonna do that to you. But listen, we're gonna get into this review of my Air Force One Nike by you. I'm sure you can already tell by the title of the video, you know what I'm saying? But if you watched the last video before this one uh, that came out before, I actually did the pickup video and the like official unboxing. I unboxed it with y'all on YouTube. If you haven't watched that yet, go jump back, watch that, and then that way you can get into this to see the actual review. I'm gonna break down all the colors, the textures I put, the inspiration behind it. And then I'm gonna also show y'all something after this too, or at the end of this video, I'll have some on body. I think I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna for sure do some pictures today. Uh, and then I'm gonna also do some video if I can. But yeah, I do got on, you know what I'm saying, a little vintage tee I found at uh, St. Vincent's. Uh, it says, remember Gallia, or Gallia, you know what I'm saying? I think it was part of the, um, I forget, Alamo, Alamo War or something. I think it's a city in Alamo, so it goes well with what I'm about to show y'all today. So I got this on, got my little green Virgo shower hat. Y'all stay tuned for these coming soon. Uh, but let's get into it, man. So this is my first Nike ID period and Nike by you. I was really inspired by a couple people on Instagram. One of the main dudes is um, A-Rab Lincoln. Super dope uh, uh, Instagrammer, photographer, and just Nike by You designer. I don't, I don't think he's actually designed any pair of shoes, but all the colors that he's done, he was featured on sneakers. Super dope. So I was inspired by him and the price range on this particular pair of Nike by You, um, like actual silhouette, super affordable. They have a regular tiered model, and then they have the tier that I did, which is a little bit higher. Got a couple, you know what I'm saying upgrades on the quality of this the shoe uh, itself so in terms of like the actual materials they use um so yeah i know i'm dragging on you know what i'm saying i gotta get the intro in people don't worry we're gonna get to the shoe so yeah so this is my first one i ever did went through it's funny i actually not to go super in detail but i had actually done a specific like design color palette of it i did like one design and i was like oh this is cool it was kind of my first shot and then i had another night like a few nights i was like ah, i'm just not feeling it i had a couple shots of tequila just chilling you know what i'm saying got my little mixed drink i would kept looking at it you know how artists just be looking at the paint in different ways let's try to get a little uh, different inspiration i was looking at it and i was like man i gotta redo this so i scrapped the whole thing i looked at a couple of arab lincolns and a couple other people i looked up the hashtag thing nike by you air force one just to see you know a couple of people were uh, color palettes and blocking uh, ways that people are coming up with and man i was like okay i think i don't know what i'm gonna do so without further ado this is what i came up with this is my first nike by you nike id and actually i'm gonna show y'all the box first so that way y'all can see um like i said if you go look at the unboxing video i'll show y'all literally like y'all watching it with me while i unbox it for the first time came straight from china super dope i did want to point out in terms of um turnaround time bro crazy fast i have no idea if this is normal i don't think it is because this nike by you All right, cool. So this is the box. It came straight from China. The cool thing is, uh, like I said, the turnaround time was mad fast. I don't think it's, that's normal though. I think it's because this particular model, also I'm doing it around the holidays. I feel like Nike's just trying to get Nike by U's out to people as quickly as possible. I did another Nike by U actually the day before I did this one. So like December 1st, I think I did one Nike by U, the regular version of this shoe. And I'll actually just give it away now. I did the Air Force One. I'll tell you which model is actually here in hand in a second. But I did the regular model. Uh, and then the next day I did this one. This one got shipped to me in two weeks. I did the order on December 2nd. It came in in December 16th. Two weeks, 14 days. Weird stuff happened with UPS. I kind of, I think I talked about it on the pickup video, but either way, two weeks for a Nike by you custom and it's like the upgraded material. Crazy, shout out to Nike. I have another one though, like I said, my regular uh, like tiered or model version of the Air Force One. Uh, still hasn't been shipped. I think it's supposed to be finished, but I don't know. It is what it is. But anyway, it came in this box. As y'all can see, it says Nike by you on there. And then just all white box. It's a slide out box, so no 
the, you know, thing on the top has a Nike logo on the bottom there. Bottom normal just tags, you know what I'm saying? Nike swoosh and whatnot. And uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll actually show y'all the, the lid just so, you know what I'm saying, y'all can see a quick preview. But it says um, Nike by Jamal, has my design on there, it's size 10. My normal size of Air Force Ones and pretty much every other shoe that's just like that. Um, yeah, so to get to the shoes, cause that's what y'all came for. This is my design, let me make sure a light is good and we in focus, then we good to go. Yep, there it is, all right, so. Like I said, that was a box, but to get straight to the two, the shoes, the, the piece de resistance, can't speak right now, too excited, but here we go. This is my Nike Bayou Air Force One Pendleton, you know what I'm saying? So that's the, the main difference between this and the uh, other Nike Air Force One models that you might see available online. So this is my version of the shoe. I'm gonna try to not make this video as long, I'm gonna keep time in mind, but um, I did just want to show you guys this up front first before we break it down. I hope the lighting is good enough. I tried to get it just with the natural light right now in my room. It looked beautiful. I'll put up some shots and like I said, I'll have some B-roll of me putting outfits together with this. But man, I am beyond ecstatic. If y'all go watch the unboxing video, I literally sat on my couch for about the next probably 24 to 48 hours just staring at these. I picked them up probably um, eight to 10 times within the last two days while they've just been sitting on my shoe rack. Like they're... I love them that much. Also, at the end of the video, I'll describe the fact that I love them enough that I think I'm probably gonna rebuy the same pair or something a little bit different, but stay tuned. But to get into it, like I said, I'm gonna try to go through as like as quick as I can, but at the end of the video, you'll see why. Don't worry if you don't catch all the, the colors that I chose, because like I said, I'm gonna go back through. Um, but just to start it out, obviously, like I said, it's the Pendleton Air Force One, so you get some of those, I'm gonna step up close, you get some of those, um, you know, uh, nicer features in terms of quality and material. So I guess we'll just start up here um, and I also have my phone out too because um, that way you know what I'm saying if I forget like the name of the actual colorway or the material um, y'all will know so I'll start here so um, the actual type of stitch I went with was the stitch versus the OG stitch which is where it's just leather cut on leather so I went with the, the stitch so it kind of got that Frankenstein look um, on the vamp up here I went with the off, I think this is the Off Noir Pendleton Twill Black, I think. The one thing that I will say about the Nike by Use that I, I found out by another person, I don't remember who it was, but when you do Nike by Use, what's crazy is, I don't know if it's with, maybe maybe it's just with the, these ones like this, the Pendleton, which y'all can see back there. It's got the Pendleton logo. I'm gonna focus for you, boy, there we go. I don't know if it's just with these, but with certain pieces, I guess they only, that's why Nike by use for certain designs and certain models are only available for a certain window of time, maybe like a couple months or something like that, you know? That's because they run out of those materials, right? They only have so much fabric for so many orders to come in. So, like I said, I think this colorway, to get back to it, this colorway is the Off Noir. If not, it's something like this, but I'm pretty sure it's the Off Noir. And then moving around, tongue, oh, okay, okay. If you're looking at, if you're designing it and you're walking through it with me, the tongue I went with the black black leather this one is as of today today is december 18 2020 the black leather tongue is not available anymore uh, but y'all can see it's got the nike air in black and then the actual tongue itself is leather um what else did i do for the quarter i went with i oh mean i don't know if the light's gonna get this correctly but it's a green suede but it's called sequoia but it's like a dark green and then let's see what else do we do for the tip uh, i did a leather as y'all can see but the leather is the color of oatmeal as of today December 18, 2020, leather oatmeal not available anymore. But stay tuned toward the end. I'm gonna show y'all something else. Uh, so yeah, so that was the, the tip or like the toe, the wrap around the toe box. The eye stay here is the black leather. I can tell y'all that. Now, let me just say that the black is actually not called black. It's called it's called off noir. So it's really like you can. I mean, y'all can hopefully see it. Like I said, hopefully the light is cool. It's black, but also like it has almost like a grayish, like flat, like matte black type of look to it. Like I said, hopefully the lighting is good enough. But y'all can. See it's kind of got a shimmer on it like if you look online like i don't know if this is gonna do it justice but if you look online like the black there isn't even like it's it's like a gray it looks grayish in the pictures and when i got it in i thought it was gonna be dark gray and it's clearly it's like black so yeah so that was what i did for the um for the uh the ice or the ice day the foxing as you can see same thing leather so the cool thing is i went with uh pendleton on the, or the vamp that's what they call it uh, you can only get a Pendleton stitch on this part. So that's the only thing that I was kind of like, eh, like, all right, I'll just pick whatever works. And it clearly works for my shoe. Um, I went suede on the mid panel. Uh, we'll get to this with suede on the check. And then I went leather on the, the uh, 
front wrap of the toe box and then leather on the foxing, so the back side. Um, almost done here. I uh, back of the back stay. I did, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have, I only had this for um, pit the Pendleton material. I was like, let me throw a little bit on the back. So I think I did the light colorway of the Pendleton. And then just looking at the back, as y'all can see, like I said, hopefully the light is cool, but it's, this is the Mystic Dates suede. So it's like a burgundy, basically. Thought it worked well with the uh, little red stripe right here. And the cool thing is when I, if I'll show you guys the other shoe, like the, um, the cool thing about the Pendleton is not each one is the same. So the, you know what I'm saying, my right shoe uh, is, has red on it. This one has blue on it. And then the swoosh, which we kind of talked about. Uh, I went with the gold suede swoosh, you know what I'm saying? So I just thought it a little cool, little pop of color. And then uh, for the laces. So man, this part took me forever to figure out. I was between this, um, I think the sequoia color, um, the, the olive color, or actually, no, 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 I take that back. The color that I was gonna get with this first pair, I was gonna either do white or I was gonna do this color. So like the, the oatmeal color. So I was gonna do oatmeal kind of like a like a off-white basically. Like you know how people have been putting that kind of vintage look on their lay of their, you know, on their laces or shoe on their shoes, picking the vintage color, like off-white color laces in their shoes. I was like, I mean that'd be kind of cool. But I kept looking at the pictures and I'm like, it's not popping enough for me. And it just, you know, I need this the shoe is so like subdued and like chill colors, earth tones. I was like, I just need something to pop you know what i'm saying when i did that when i was like it's between this and that let me rock with the white you know what i'm saying and uh it came out dope so yes yeah, so i went for white with the laces and then on the midsole and also as y'all can see i went with the color that's called olive gray so i was kind of skeptical about this color at first i was like i don't know how this joint will come out but man as y'all can see like the way that it the way that it bounces off is crazy man i just didn't expect it to come out this fire but yo it is what it is and y'all can kind of see with the light there like it's black but the way that it's like when the light hits it it kind of has like a gray like look to it for the um for the black leather like that off noir um and then let's see hang tag when i did it i had maybe like there was maybe like six or five or six colors available i just stuck with straight black i didn't do the custom on it either but i thought this was pretty cool i'm not really like super like, oh my God, I came with a Pendleton hang tag. That's just me though, because I'm not gonna wear this when I wear the shoe, but it's cool. Uh, it has like, you know, a little mountainous kind of Pendleton vibes and then a black Nike check. If you customize it, it has like writing on the backside here, which obviously I didn't use, but other than that, I think that's it. I think we're at the end. Yeah, that's it, man. So that, that was my design of the shoe on the insole. Um, I think y'all can see this, or I think it'll show. It's got a black insole. I think the insole on any of the shoes comes black because I try to design other colors and when I, you get the top down view, it's black insole and it has a white Nike on there. Um, the cool thing is on the aglets of the, um, on the aglets, they're metal tip. So it's pretty dope. Uh, and mine were black, obviously it works well with the, you know what I'm saying, the, the black leather and then the, uh, on the eye stays and then the, um, the back part of the uh issue but man like when i tell you i am beyond impressed man in love like really just proud of myself and also just proud of a company that like nike that can do this and allow us to you know us creators and sneakerheads to make our own shoes um i got roommates y'all sorry but anyway so yeah man i'm just i'm beyond ecstatic like over the moon man i think i think this is just dope for the price and i think after tax it came out to like 150 I live in California, so you know what I'm saying? Tax is a little bit crazy for shipping and uh, tax out here in LA. Um, in terms of, um, I, as y'all can see, they're still dead stock. I'm gonna wear them today. Make sure you follow my Instagram so y'all can see what fit I put together with it today. Like I said, y'all probably see it on the on body anyway. But um, yeah, like, I'm just mad impressed, man. Like, I, lo I really love these shoes. Um, so. All right, sorry about that yet again. Uh, but yeah, so just really happy with these, man. They just came out fire. So just to kind of get into some extra little stuff afterwards. So the only, y'all might be asking like, were they, you know what I'm saying? Were they, the fact that it came, I thought too, I was like, in two weeks, like something has to be wrong. There's no way they got this Pendleton, you know what I'm saying? Nike by you ID done that fast without any issue. There's only one and a half things. So when it came out the box, I did notice this. Y'all can probably see it. That little mark right there is like a little glue mark or glue stain. I'm not really tripping about that. 
It's a suede Nike check. It's down to have some things get on it. And if it's at the, uh, the manufacturing plant, I'm assuming, or you know what I'm saying, um, while they're putting it together, because I'm assuming they have to put these all together, you know what I'm saying, whether it's like obviously not hand done, but like with a machine where they're putting these particular colors that we choose together, it makes sense that something might get lost in translation um, quality wise. Other thing that I'm gonna say have, because if Nike is watching this or the Nike by you people, are watching this shout out to you thank you i'm really in love with my shoe as y'all can see i got leather on most of this um version of my shoe but there's a little i don't know if the camera is gonna catch it let me see if i can get the camera to focus there you go. there's a little like ding right there now i've had this shoe for 48 hours as y'all can tell i am at the utmost in love with this shoe like completely in love with it as far as i know i didn't mess around with this shoe ding it i don't remember seeing this when i took it out the box so it might have been mine that's why i said half and the reason why i give it a half is because if it was my fault it's my fault however i don't know what i would have hit on this to really make the paint just rub off that fast you know what i'm saying that's the only reason why i give it a half now if it came out the box like this and i just didn't notice because i was noticed because i was just I don't know, entranced by how much I would, you know what I'm saying, in love with this shoe off first glance, then maybe that's it. But with that, I'm not really tripping too hard. Honestly, the last, like last night, cause I noticed it yesterday, I got them Wednesday. Yesterday I noticed it and I spent like all the, in the evening just like, damn, should I buy another pair? Should I try, you know what I'm saying, do the design again and just keep it one to, you know what I'm saying, all ice? But I was like, I'ma chill. So I'ma wear these, I'ma love them, take care of them, clean them, rock the hell out of them, you know what I'm saying? But like I told y'all at the end of the video, I did have something that I wanted to share and what i'm gonna let y'all know is hopefully i think i'm gonna try to do it either this week or next week right around christmas but i'm gonna order another pair of these shoes and the cool part is like at first i was kind of like damn there's something that came up and i realized like when i told y'all about like the fact that they don't have all the materials forever they don't have all the materials so like they don't have this leather anymore in the oatmeal they don't have the black leather uh i think the, uh, and then the shoelaces they don't have white anymore they don't have the black tongue anymore so i was like damn i gotta like I gotta figure something out. So, the cool thing is, I did record my process of me going through and actually designing it, which I hopefully, if not right now, in a minute or so, y'all see it start rolling. But just to kind of go over the differences, I think I kept pretty much everything the same as y'all can see here. So, um, and, and I'll try to move over a little bit. That way I can put it on the screen over here. But yeah, or actually, yeah, I'll just leave it over there, whatever. So, as y'all can see, on the uh the screen like i said i've kept everything the same the one thing that's like mainly different i went with suede oatmeal on the toe box wrap because that's the only thing they had available but i also did black suede on the back because that's the only thing they had available too which means i'm about to basically make the same shoe but a suede version so i'll have a leather version and a suede version bro and that to me is crazy everything else is the same i kept the back tab the same but that burgundy um I forget the name of the color, but the burgundy color, got the gold suede on the swoosh, uh, the green hit on the mid panel, uh, the same color bottom, uh, that like gray olive, uh, and then the, for the shoelaces, right now, I'm not sure, I'll probably tell y'all when I, y'all y'all will see when I get the shoe in after I order it, I'm either going to go with the, the steel blue, like the grayish blue, it looks like a grayish baby blue, or the burgundy. I'm also flirting with the olive color. I might do the olive color or the, the sequoia, like the greenish color. Man, I'm in love with these shoes. I can't wait to put them on. Today is going to be the first day that I put them on. And I'm going to rock the hell out of these, man. That's also kind of too. I was like, I need to get another pair because these look insane. And I would just want to have another pair just in case. So, yeah. So, that's it. Or is it? I got one more thing. So, as y'all can see, obviously, I'm in love with these. If you've been watching, and if you also are someone who knows me, you've been following me on Instagram, you've been paying attention in the video, maybe getting some ideas popping in your head, what does this shoe remind you of in terms of colorway? Think about it, dark green, brownish gray tones, a light hit of brown here, a burgundy and yellow hit. So like I said, green with the black. Might remind you of some character that also had a shoe with these same color palettes. Ringing any bells yet? Nike SB, what y'all thinking? Dunk high? This is a 10 and a half, it was back in the day when I thought that I could just wear my shoes all rugged and just sliding everywhere. I think y'all, 
To give you some context, I have been watching The Mandalorian. I just watched the season finale today of season two. Crazy. And also when we talk about the, when I get into this, y'all gonna be like, this is crazy, mind blowing. Been watching The Mandalorian. I don't know if this had any subliminal messages. I've also been literally zooming through Clone Wars. I'm on season six today. And I just started about two or three weeks ago. Like I've been binge watching hard. Um, and if you watch Clone Wars, you know how many episodes there are. So I've been going hard. But I don't know if this had any subliminal messaging in my head. But I think that I accidentally reached created the Boba Fett dunks y'all like on accident literally I just color blocked it how I did and it just so happened like I was watching the show and I'm like damn this looks almost the same and the thing is when I was designing this first pair I was gonna do the yellow or the check in um in burgundy and then I was gonna do this in yellow and that would have basically been the same shoe bro and I was like man that's crazy I do like how I have it with the yellow on my next pair with the suede, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a red, maybe I'll flip it. Maybe I'll actually do a, uh, a Boba Fett, you know what I'm saying? But, and I, I just, I obviously with the hype with all the Nike SBs with Travis, who's just blowing up the market for Nike SBs. All of us OG heads that really was collecting Nike SBs back in high school, you know what I'm saying, 10 years ago, because they were the cheapest shoes out, but they were the craziest designs, like myself, who loves Star Wars, and I got the Boba Fett's. I just pulled these out because I was like, damn, man, everybody want to pull out OGs, and they've been about this dunk life. Let me see your OG pairs. Let me see them. I got a pair of Space Tigers back there, too. I think I'm going to do a video on that, but anyway, I don't want to go on a tangent because I probably could about that whole issue, but y'all can definitely see, like, I think subliminally, I definitely had some influences in my head. Like I said, I did not plan on this being a Boba Fett shoe, but it definitely looks like maybe a Boba Fett 2 or something like that i definitely need to submit these to star wars you know what i'm saying get that sponsorship tell them to let me design something but uh anyway man i think that that is now the end of the video i appreciate y'all tuning in like i said right now it seems like it's pretty long it's about 24 minutes <laughs> so i'm gonna probably have to go through and chop this up cut it up but uh i'm gonna definitely rock these today and like i said stay tuned on my instagram for more stuff coming through subscribe to the channel if you want to check out more stuff if not totally fine i also just hope that honestly y'all get information out of these videos and help you find a drip you know what I'm saying find your style find information on that you know that, that I'm, that'll help you <laughs> kind of go through and you know what i'm saying find items that you'll love and keep forever you know what i'm saying the way that i like to do so yeah so um this is like i said the nike by you air force one pendleton model um and yeah it's just it's nuts man it's nuts like i said i'll keep y'all posted on it if i get that other pair but other than that man i'm gonna go try these on get this footage on and uh, see how special they feel on foot uh, by the way, Nike Air Force Ones, I do go true to size. Like I said, I'm a size 10. I got a size 10. So, yeah. All right. I think we out. Me and, me and the Boba Fetts is out. Deuce.